Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to do another Let's Play Clash of Clans part 11 and um, this is uh, some things that I, I need to do is to collect all the resource from all this gold, uh, gold mine and elixir collector the reason why is I got lazy farm by others ah! <laughs> uh, if you take a look at this my defense lock got someone actually lazy farm me for 349k gold and 249k elixir and let me replay this to show you why it is being lazy farm <laughs> okay from here you can see that uh, I have neglected my base for a while and it, it uses a level 5 uh, archers and barbarians and simply just uh, get my gold uh, gold mine and elixir collector on the outside and didn't even really get into my base to get such a huge number of resources from me um, it's really a waste uh, if I never take care of my resources from here you can see that it just take out like only the outside of my base and basically that's it yeah so I lost about 300 uh, 300,000 gold just because I, uh, I neglected my base from that but the good thing is I have managed to get back 300,000 K gold as well from others uh, which is using the cheapest amount of troops so using a barbarians and archers and goblins and giants and one uh, dragon from the reinforcement troops so let's take a look at uh, what I have in my reinforcement troops same thing i have uh, one wizard one level three dragons and one uh level five archers so let's take a look what i have in my army cam my army cam my usual is 38 goblins 10 uh, giants 10 uh, wall breakers for a 200 uh, 200 capacity two capacity uh, and the rest the barbarian archers is almost equal amount so you can actually uh, train your your troops accordingly and use it uh, as a, a template for you to attack so let me try to find a base to attack okay so i'm gonna break my shoe okay so for this particular base the elixir is very high i have uh, almost maxed out elixir so i do not need to, to do this so i'm going to uh, fast forward uh, to the, the base that i want to attack yes 300k gold 500k elixir Okay, looking at the gold storage and elixir storage, you can see there's not much of resource inside, meaning that most of the resource is in the elixir collector and gold mine, making this a prime target for lazy farming. And there's an expo which seems to have some ammo left, so I'm not quite sure. And there's some tombstone making this uh, most likely there's no reinforcement troop, which is a very excellent target to attack. So now my target is to get all the gold resource from the gold mine. So I'll drop in some barbarians and some gold in some archers uh, yes uh, the resources is dropping down like mad so it proved the theory that all the resources are in the gold mine and elixir collector uh, okay I'll drop some goblins and uh, the wall is still not broken yet hopefully the goblin can break through the wall without uh, wasting another additional wall breakers yes it's got through and currently my giant is a bit wasted because uh, there's no Oh, almost surrendered there. Oh gosh, if I surrendered, I will pull my hair out. <laughs> okay, a couple of goblins to uh, you know, uh, harvest the elixir collectors. Oh, wasted some goblins on the left side. I shouldn't have dropped those goblins. Ah, okay, dropping some giants, some barbarians. Oh, my reinforcement troop has been airily de uh, de deployed because the dragon is not ready. Ah, uh, damn, the air defense tower is killing my dragon damn it uh, okay so on my left side i dropped in some barbarian king uh, now and uh, a single wall breakers is still not broken yet because of the hidden tessa seems to be killing my uh, my uh, the wall breakers oh man okay the barbarian king is coming for my barbarian king bk versus bk see who wins oh the wall breakers break through and now a couple of uh, barbarians a couple of uh, archers barbarian archers no more goblins left unfortunately I need to get rid of the uh this um 
uh, gold mine on the left side. Hopefully, you can get rid of. And currently, both the BK is down. Oh, one more. Uh, go go mine is left i need to get rid of the last go mine so i can get the rest of the gold yes and oh no more troops uh unfortunately i think i could not get rid of the town hall uh soon enough so yeah I, i'll definitely lose this uh particular attack because uh i didn't manage to uh yeah i managed i managed to get down the the town hall but i got 340k gold and 249 K elixir very happy about the result even though I lost 28 trophies this is lazy farming power <laughs> okay so basically this is what I, I like about um, you know playing this game because even though if you, you lose you get a lot of resource you can upgrade your, your base your troops your, your walls using the amount of resource you get from lazy farming and other people can lazy farming uh, farm me back if I neglect my base as well so one minor change to my base is I put my uh, giant bomb uh, right in the uh, before the hidden death star so that when the enemy focus attack on the buildings in front of the uh, giant bomb uh, you'll con congregate into a, a bunch before going to the, the this giant bomb oh awesome I got some level 5 barbarians and the same thing goes to here as well. Got uh, some hidden Tesla and a giant bomb. And the same goes to here. <laughs> Alright, so basically that's it for this uh, particular lazy farming episode of Let's Play Clash of Clans Part 11. I really hope you like this video. And of course, do comment in the comment section below what you like, what you do not like. And of course, do share this video to people who need it. And of course, um, remember to subscribe, right? So thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.